2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the RBC Canadian Open is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hey guys, I can't wait to watch these two go at it again. It was an incredible battle first time round, and I think there'll be a few shots fired out here. Who delivers when it matters most? That's the joy of any rivalry. And this is a good one to win. All right, all right, all right. Canadian Open. Winds brawling with us and to the right. There's not much fairway up there. That should be a pretty solid line. Hoping the wind drags it across to the hole from there. Oh, we might be bunker bound off the start. Oh. It's gonna kick left. It's all right. Just don't roll backwards because that goes down the hill and that's not good. Time for the second shot into the first. Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. Very good chip in. Looking solid already. Always nice to have a birdie putt. This is cranking down. I didn't want to... Shouldn't have aimed for here. I should have aimed for the left one and got under the flag, but... It is all good. That's got to feel good, opening the first with an underpass score. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. He's in a share of third place. Another Aussie on the board. Let's go. Rich, the second hole here at St. George's Golf and Country Club. A long, strong par four. It is just around the 475 yard mark. This fairway does slope significantly left to right. So the drives can easily find that fairway bunker down the right hand side. We're going to hit 275. Boy, we're safe yeah, from the bunker. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Yeah, he's about 155 from this whole location. Wow, that one was a fairway splitter. Uphill. I'm worried about the wind a little bit. Mm. 
That's pretty good. Not a bad play, that one. And that would be back to back birdies for this player. And now to Bubba Watson. He's got some work to do, but he's only one back from his rival. He knew he hit that poorly. Lovely touch. Well played. Great touch. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? The perfect leave. Uphill can be firm. Birdie pot. Go on, get it oh on. my god, look at that. The pot drops and that's back to back birdies. And I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Currently two under for the event. Tied first already. The first of our par threes at St George's Golf and Country Club. Beautiful looking par three. Yes, a narrow green, but very deep bunker surrounding it on both sides. This is a heck of a par three. Going with the six iron here. Oh, that's gone way long. Damn. Stay on the green. Come on, roll down. There we go. Oh, it's going to roll off. I didn't look at that at all. This would be a great up and down. We don't want this to roll at all once it lands. It almost well, went you in. Like look at those hands. Love watching this player around the greens. Now let's change gears in. and head over to Bubba Watson. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? That's exactly oh, that's what we wanted to do. To save your par. That'll help make a big move. So after that effort, this is what the leaderboard looks like. I did say I wanted to stop it dead though. So. Didn't want it rolling down that hill. The first of the par fives is the fourth hole, Rich. Yes, this hole used to be a par four, but was extended back in 1968 for the Canadian Open. It's a nice opportunity here to get a stroke back after the opening three holes. But watch out, this fairway gets tough to find with the slope that moves it from right to left. Landing area gets very narrow. It's going to be a risky play. Stay out of that shortcut on the side there and out of the bunker. That's a good spot. Playing from around 150 yards here. He shares top spot. It's club up, I'd say. Opting for the six iron. And he's safely on the green. Went a little bit longer than I wanted, but. Trying to get two, three under par with this putt. We're downhill. Reasonably straight. Oh, it's going to. Oh, I almost that made hurts. it. Look at it roll, though. 
See you later, golf ball. 11 feet to the cup. Surely it's going to. Solid par putt there. It's a good par putt there. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Not at all. We're still sitting tied second and all mates finished. The fifth hole at St George's is a par four, Rich. It is. It plays downhill into a valley that kind of moves away from the tee box. So you should see players hit it down there with some distance, leaving a short second shot. Well, this should find the short grass. And it'll kick left because it's on the slope. Henny, what's the player facing here? And from around 135 yards. Let's have a look at it. Well, that came around. Hoping for a bounce here, Way preferably more. to the left. Left yourself an opportunity. Already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Oh, my Lord, that is sloping away. Steady now. Ooh, that was close. Putting for a par here. Job done. Let's head to the next. And now <coughs> to Bubba Watson. Birdied their last hole. Playing this shot from around 120 yards. This is looking pretty good in the air. That's terrific a, approach and a chance for a solid, birdie that. here on the fifth. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Oh, look at everybody's tied first. The sixth hole requires a strong tee shot here at this par three. This hole can play anywhere from 170 to 200 plus there, Luke. Don't miss it right or left, though. Those bunkers are nasty. going with the hybrid well this one's going right at the flag perfect pay attention folks that's how you play golf gotta like their chances from there just three feet to the cup our work here is done let's head to the next hole and that will take him to three under. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. A long bar for this hole. 449 yards. That's some good golf right there. Time for the second shot here at the seventh. We don't want to be right at it. We want to be just off. We want to be landing like we're here.
Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. No, but it's going to stop pretty and dead Bubba's for me. got nothing but respect for an approach shot like that. He really flushed that one. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a Killed it. Back to back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. He's currently in fourth place. Out of the bunker, into the hole. Oh no. Here we go. Roll in. Roll in. Roll in. Roll in. Come on. Get in there. Do it. Oh, it's just going to roll. Oh no. Here it goes. Here it goes. Oh, that's well, rude. That save him. That one from the sand. And that is so after rude. That effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Reached the eighth hole, uh, part three here at St George's. What a great looking hole it is. Wow, this is a really cool little par three. The green is not very wide, but it funnels in from both sides. However, you just can't afford to miss it short left in that bunker. That is a huge no-no. Oh, Looks that's going to be, be short. Hybrid here. Shortcut for Donk. Well, that'll be one of the shots of the day, that's for sure. Well, well that's a little not, off the target with that one. That's not uh, what I had planned. Tried to fade it in there, but just didn't commit to it. Oh, I have Sitting at I one under the card. Time for fifth. Oh, that's a beauty. Great shot from the bunker. Oh, I need to do the same thing here. Second shot here on the eighth. that always good when you've got hands like that around the green yes very smooth tempo there on that chip and if this can go down he'll save par well done oh, save par that's good This is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. This hole is a par five. Saying 282, but it's not going to go 282 with that wind. As long as we don't go in the bunker, we're going to be fine. That's tidy. Second shot here on the ninth hole.
Uh -oh. with the three wood here. Yeah, that's going to be not good. It was a wild bounce. It was a terrible swing. Now we're chipping. And here we are with the third shot. He's got a two-stroke buffer. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Ooh, these are good for the momentum, these ones right on eight feet. Good stroke. Oh, oh just short. So close. Just short, damn it. Harpart coming up here. Looks good off the blade. Oh, this is a precarious position, if you don't mind me saying, Rich. They have the lead, but there's plenty chasing with just nine to play. Yeah, no time to start thinking about that lead, Luke. They got to keep their head down and keep going forward. Cannot think about that lead or people will pass them. What's out there? Hitting directly into the wind. Looks just... It's going to kick to the right. Damn it, I should aim to the left one. Yeah, that's just not going to work for him. Nope. It didn't. Unlucky right bounce, that's all. Oh, Henny, that looks like a putrid lie. Is it bad? Oh, no. This is nasty. Just no. Just watch me. Let's club up to a nine. went in. Damn it. Lovely effort that. A seven footer right here. That's going to roll through still. Was that a good line? I thought that would have been well enough. It's still rolling too. What? I can't see it because oh, it's in the way. It's fair to say that putt got away from them, didn't it? Stupid downhill putt. Playing their fourth shot. Currently leading by two. Big time play that one at the right time too. Ooh, that nearly stopped there, on the top after of the hole. Being all over the parking lot, chipping in for the par. Well, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. Now look how they attacked this one. Watch it almost stop. And... Er. Leading by a shot after that hole. Damn, John Rahm coming up. We've got a par five now. The first of the back nine par fives is the 11th. In this hole, we could call what? Serpentine, maybe, Luke? Yeah, that's what we're going to go with. However, <coughs> don't get bit and leave it short right in that bunker off the tee because you will be rattled. Dang that's it. not what they hoped for. I'm definite about that. Opting for the three wood.
Oh, clever play that. Just get it back into the fairway. Getting ready to play their third. Currently in the lead by a shot. Mm, about there. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Uh, okay. And now to Bubba Watson. Yeah, he needs to press on that gas pedal. He's two strokes back from his rival. Playing their fifth shot. And down it goes. And look out, guys, this rivalry looks like it's going to get pretty interesting today as he's making up some ground on his playing partner. I didn't want this Playing to be here because it's a downhill stuff part. Today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Oh, that's, that, I that's thought that was, mm, I thought that, that was missing. Five under. I thought that was going to miss then. I was like, ooh. As we move along to the next hole, they're currently tied at the top of the leaderboard with John Rahm. Damn it. John Rahm is making a comeback. Let's head to the 12th hole. Heading into the wind. <laughs> Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. It'll kick to the right. Huh? It's just got to stop before it rolls off. Which we ain't going to be worried about that. But this pin location is tucked on. Inspired an entire um, generation of European golfers, particularly his own Spanish golfers. And I feel that we might even have the best Spanish golfer of all time in John Ramridge. I absolutely agree with that. I, I believe in the game right now, Luke, that if there's one player that all others are fearful of when they get on top of the leaderboard i think john rom's name would be number one because he seemingly has zero weaknesses i can't find uh -oh. a single one i look at his game and it is so complete you just oh get envious Lord. of it don't you because it is so good is everywhere not Off the tee, good. Iron play, that's very the short bad game the mentality the vision the imagination, he's got every single tool that you could possibly want in this game. He is by far, I believe, the most complete player in our game today. Yeah, it certainly feels like we're in the John Rahm era right now. Damn it. Stay there. Some partner of yours. What's in front of them, Henny, with this part? Mistake. He's staying down about 12 big feet. Mistake. Now this one, this is important. This for par. It didn't it turn. Didn't drop. It didn't turn. The bogey putter waits. Damn it, this is going to hurt my well hold. score. Let's move on. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. He's sitting there in the rankings at fourth. That is hunting for the hole. Ooh. Oh. Gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? That is and a after shame. That effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Should have taken the flag Our current out. leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Yeah, he is, because I dropped the shot, because I screwed up my chip shot in. Time to play one of the one-shotters. Wind's got it. That one's headed right and staying right. Mm. 
Okay, you can stop there, please. That's, that's an absolute ripper. That's what a shot. The luckiest bounce ever. Top spot on the leaderboard awaits if they can make this putt. And that's a great way to forget about that bogey on the last. And right to the top of the leaderboard after that effort. And after that hole, they currently lead in first place with John Rahm in second. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Let's go. Where's 282 put us? I know I just moved it over that way, but I'm feeling a little bit like that. It's going to be safer. Well, oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. Three sixteen. That's a huge drive. Currently minus five. Outride first here. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. That's a pretty good spot to be. Terrific shot. And a chance for Birdie coming up here at the 14th. Oh, that was such a good stroke. Nice. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. And that will move him to six under par. And now to Bubba Watson. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, it's in. Oh, I Ooh. thought that one was going in. Well, that's very crafty, isn't it? You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Uh-oh. And after a bird oh, the last, they take the honor on the hole. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Time for the second shot at the 15. this driver driver doesn't get us any further it's gonna stay on the hill and here we are with the third shot He's got a two-stroke buffer. That is the wildest. That's rolling back, damn it. 
Well, this will be a big birdie here. Good putt to make. Bloody hell. It's going left to right, right to left, left to right. I should have stayed Just on with the pole. Punk is all that remains. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Yes! Not a good lie. Fortunate to hit the pin and go in. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. As we head down the finishing stretch here, Rich, if you want to win a national championship, you've got to step up. First hole, the 16th, a very good par three. This is the most difficult par three on the golf course by a long shot. Stanley Thompson added some bunkers to the rear of this green just to make the golfers accountable for their distance control. That's just mean. Where's that going to put us? Opting for the hybrid, I think. That's going to come around. This one headed left. Whoa. Not sure if that's how they drew it up. Shocking. A missed green in regulation. And this from the green side rough. Kidding me. Getting ready to play their third. Currently leading by two. Great touch. Really nicely played. Such soft hands. Damn it, it's another five bogey. Under for the round. Chops me back tie first. Couple of strong par fours to finish here at Stanley Thompson's masterpiece, St. George's. Very good par four, the 17th. It is. It started off as a par five and now just plays as an enormous par four. Fairway does camber pretty good from right to left, so you got to challenge that bunker down the right-hand side off the tee. This one from about 160 yards out. Currently tied for the lead. Going with the 9 iron, I think. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here on the 17th. We need a Birdie. Fantastic look upcoming. We need a Birdie. This really looks good. Oh, my Lord. Ooh. Damn it. This is a par putt. Unable to take advantage of the great approach there, Rich. And now to Bubba Watson. 
Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. In the hole. Oh, just missed. No, that's too bad. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. There's John Rahm in front of me now. Nope, we're still tired. The finishing hole at St George's Golf and Country Club, Rich, is a strong par four. It certainly is that. It was originally a par five as well. It's converted to a long par four to make it a little bit more challenging for the Canadian Open plays uphill all the way to a steep green and the beauty of this hole Luke is the magnificent clubhouse in the background it is a pretty cool looking clubhouse you like that didn't you sitting at five under par in their round currently tied for first place and choosing the eight iron here That's going to roll off. Damn it. That's such a long part. Stop rolling. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. That needed to be like right on the pin. To win the RBC Canadian Open. Gallant attempt. Dang it. Oh, that's a killer. That would have won the event outright. And Luke, they need this putt now to force a playoff. And this putt is for a final score of 65. I don't mind the look of it. Well, I didn't see it coming, Rich, but this one's going to a playoff. Playoff time. Don't go anywhere, folks. We've got extra holes coming your way. Oh, everybody loves a playoff, Luke. I'm excited about this. This will be intense, Rich. So much pressure, and these players won't be stopping until one of them wins the hole. Buckle up. Oh, such an exciting day, Luke. Let's get into it. Let's advance to a playoff. 16 par 3. What's this one again? <clears throat> The one I stuffed up for. Going with the hybrid. Oh no, it's going to be shorter in a bunker. Not a good time for an errant approach. Missing the green in a playoff puts pressure on the short game. If you need any inspiration, Bob Tway once holed out of the bunker to win a major. Yep. It all comes down to this. Make it, and the playoff continues. This is going to be a very hard putt to make. Forces this playoff to another hole. I hate downhill putts. Let's move on to the next hole of this playoff, shall we? Oh, I stuffed this one up last time too.
Looks to be going with a hybrid here. I'm going to get a huge kick off that hill again. Oh no, that's going to funnel down. Stop. Is it the sh oh, well, that's a miss green in a playoff. Hopefully they can regain their composure. The equation's pretty simple. Chip this in and win the tournament. Go on. Ooh, that almost went down. <laughs> That's almost a gimme. Great chip. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. This truly is do or die. They need this to extend the playoff. Yes, you can feel the tension building. This playoff's going to another hole. This one's a par three. Look, this player has not played this hole as well as their opponent. It'll be interesting to see if they can conjure up something special in this playoff. Throw it back here again. Bad got a little out of control, I think. Oh, this Needed is Needed to take a little less it. club on that approach. This is it, ladies Come and gentlemen. This would be a good one to hold. A chip for the tournament. How close was that to going down? It's going to roll off. There it goes. Damn it. I was so close. And here we are with the third shot. That's it. Damn it. Certainly makes putty easy if you can chip it that close. Judging it beautifully. They oh, couldn't have been the really worst holes the to do for pay playoffs. That one's such a the worst playoff, position too. for a pin. Absolutely, Luke. You get so close to victory, but then you lose it after so many playoff holes. It really is tough to see. Well, thank you, sports fans. Hope you enjoyed all the coverage of our playoff finale and from myself and all the dedicated people at 2K Sports. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time.